and let's just track what we have done. If I go to the expenses area here, I can look at my vendors and I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna say clear the filters and I wanna look at all my vendors and just pick up vendor here. And you can see that we had a purchase order. That was the start of the process. And so there is our purchase order. New music stuff was who we purchased it for. The customer that we had here, closing that back out. And then we bill, we entered the bill. And then within the bill, notice I, I didn't check this off as being billable last time. I'm gonna make that change. I'm gonna say, okay, here's the new customer. I'm gonna make it a billable item so that I can then turn around and create the invoice. Now you have to be careful with this, however, because like I say, the billable thing only generally pulls in the cost instead of using the item to pull in the sales price, but it can still help us to give, give us that link. So you might use this customer field uh, just, to, just to show you that you can then make an invoice matching this or you can use this billable item, but you have to be careful to do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's billable here. Uh, we can apply the tax to it. And then I'm gonna say, save it and close it. So now I've made that bill billable. The transaction you are editing is linked to others. I'm gonna say that should be okay.